welcome to Bad Shoe Museum's Camp in a Shoe Box. My name is Sue. Today, we'll be making two slipper designs. Slippers, which are often worn indoors, get their name because you can slip them on and off your foot easily. Drop by Badashi Museum to see the many slippers on display, such as men and women's embroidered slippers from the 1860s. Felt slipper materials. Felt, hole punch, shoelace or ribbon, scissors, pencil or washable marker, paper and template reference, needle and thread. On a piece of paper, trace an outline of your foot. Looking at the reference template shape, draw a point to the side and the top curves. Cut out the paper and fold over your foot to check if the template fits. You can make adjustments by adding or removing the parts of the template. Place the template on felt and cut it out with scissors. Fold the top of the slippers. You can connect the slipper together by sewing the pieces with a needle and thread. Another option is to make spaced out holes along the top of the edge with a hole punch. Connect the two pieces by threading a shoelace in between. To make the bottom of the slipper more durable, you can sandwich a piece of thin cardboard in between two pieces of felt, attaching it using glue or sewing. Repeat for the other side. Towel slipper materials. Old flip flops, old towel, scissors, glue gun and glue sticks, pencil, pen or marker, and optional is needle and thread. Cut off any straps on the flip-flop. Place the flip-flop on an old towel. Trace around the flip-flop, leaving a three to five centimeter gap. You can measure with a ruler. Make the gap bigger if your flip-flop has a taller sole. Trace around your flip-flop again, leaving a half a centimeter gap. Cut out the two outlines. Cut out an oval that is wider than the top of your flip-flop and around the same length. Fold the piece in half and this will be the top of your slipper. Glue or sew the top piece to the flip-flop front edge, leaving room for your toes. Take the smaller towel outline and place it on top of your flip-flop. Fold the edges towards the bottom and glue or sew everything down. Then attach the larger outline to the bottom of the flip-flop, wrapping and folding the edges with glue. You can make cuts around the curved parts to remove any extra towel. You can decorate your slippers. I chose to use the edge of a towel. Repeat for the other side. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this week's activity. Please share your finished DIY slippers with us by tagging us at Badashi Museum or by using these hashtags. As well, check out badashimuseum.ca for upcoming events and exhibitions. Stay tuned for next week's activities. Bye!